All right, so top 10 spring essentials. And by now you know, when I say 10, it's never just 10. Now here in New England, we have a good transition into summer, a true spring, if you will. So keep that in mind. Let's start off with something that you see me wear often. This is a Carhartt work in progress jacket. It is a chore jacket. That's the key word there, a chore jacket. It's a lightweight, it's denim, and this was kind of an investment piece for me because Carhartt work in progress is expensive. We'll talk more about that in this video. I think this jacket was probably a couple hundred bucks, something like that, and I know that for a lot of you, that's a lot of money. So what I did was I found an affordable alternative from J. Crew here that's just as nice. So this J. Crew option is great because you get that contrast with the corduroy collar. The best part is the quality is the same as this pretty much, but the price is way different. You can grab this guy right now for 40 bucks, 42 shipped. I believe is what I got this for. I was big into chore jackets about four or five years ago. They kind of took a hiatus, but they are definitely back this spring. By the way, I will link all of this stuff for you guys down in the description. And of course, now this jacket is sold out. That always happens. Sorry about that. I need to figure out a way to share deals and steals with you guys as I find them, but I like to get the item in, do a little review, show you how it fits, before I recommend it, and that's not always the most timely thing to do. So I'm toying with a few ideas, maybe a newsletter, maybe a specific Instagram or Twitter account dedicated to steals and deals or new things that pop up that all the other places don't recommend. So to be continued on that. So instead, I just got in the new Gap and Palace collaboration. This is the Anorak jacket, and man, it is super nice. But I have to tell you guys, this thing runs huge. They did recommend, and I've never heard such a thing, they recommended going down two to three sizes. That's insane. Two to three sizes, if I typically buy a large, you're telling me to get a small? Never have I ever purchased a small, and I can maybe count on one hand how many times I've purchased a medium. And that's exactly what this is. This is a medium and it fits me perfectly. So their recommendation was spot on, but I don't know why. And I am 6'2", 185 during the week, 190 on weekends. It's a Friday right now, so I'm at 185. And I got a couple other things, so why not include them here? I got the t-shirt. I'm real excited about the t-shirt. We'll see how large it is. What size did I get? I went with a size large. So this is a really nice fabric. Honestly, wow, here we go. It is boxy. This for sure gave me a 90s vibe. We got embroidery. And then of course, some track pants. Some track pants, these are big. These are gonna be pretty, pretty big. Pants are tricky because I didn't wanna go down to a size medium and not even be able to put them on. I'm usually a large, so I went true to size on the pants. Actually, they're not that bad. A little bit roomy, but I like them. The color blocking is so cool though. Check out that white piping. Nice job. Sorry about the J. Crew, but the palace stuff is still available down in the description. Next up is a pair of pants that you're gonna see me wear often. You've already seen me wear them often, and I had to include them here because people always ask about them. They are a very popular pair of wind pants from Nike. These are the Windrunner track pants. Now this particular pair is in an off-white, which might be a little bit too flashy for some people, totally understand. There's a black pair on sale right now, and it's just all black. You also have a two-tone option. There's all sorts of colors for these pants, and why I like them is because they have a good baggy fit, but additionally, they taper nicely, and that is a problem with a lot of track pants. If they taper too quickly, you're wearing like balloon pants, and you don't wanna be doing that. You need that nice progressive taper. They're roomy, but I'd still recommend going true to size. Okay, next up, hats. Now, I should talk about hats more, but for some reason, I, I kinda just forget about it. I tend to just wear them in my videos, and I feel like they're, I don't know, they're always something that I'm looking to add to my outfit. A lot of times, I think that 
things are incomplete if I don't have a hat on. I've got a few pickups here and then a few old faithfuls. You guys always see me rocking the White Sox fitted cap and that isn't gonna change. The longer you wear these hats, the better they look, and that is an absolute fact. But of course, we have to have some different options. I'm trying out the 47 brand Hitch hat. I could have lived without the bull on the side. I think it would have been a lot cleaner without it. The Hitch is a similar fit to the New Era golfer hat, which I've been rocking a lot recently. This one is the throwback Mariners joint. These two guys right here, are my go-tos. And I didn't think having a tan cap like this would be something I would wear often. Man, was I wrong. I go back and forth between these two all the time. I'll link these for you guys down in the description. You can get them for like 30 bucks. But one of the most essential and classic snapbacks ever is this Nautica white cap. I've been wearing these hats forever. You've got the J-Class logo. And I don't know if I ever mentioned it to you guys, but the collab I did with Nautica, this hat fits the exact same as this guy right here. And I love wearing both to this day. Okay, what do you guys say we build an outfit? One thing I've been telling you guys is that this sage green color is gonna be the color of spring. And I absolutely love this tone. Green is one of my favorite colors. And this hoodie that we have here is from Uniqlo. Now, you guys always tell me, do a Uniqlo video, do a Uniqlo video, well, there's a lot of Uniqlo in here. These pants that I'm wearing right now, these utility cargos, they're also from Uniqlo. This is the first hoodie I've ever had from them, surprisingly, and I'm impressed. The retail price is 50 bucks. It is a mid to lightweight. My only gripe is that there's not a visible kangaroo pouch. I do like to have a nice kangaroo pouch there. There are pockets, it's just they're hidden. So that's the base. Now, for the pantalones, we gotta go with some off-white denim, and this is my newest favorite off-white denim. Very affordable, perfect fit, and it's from Nautica. If you are not wearing white denim yet, I totally understand why. It feels like it's gonna be flashy, but trust me when I tell you it's not. These pants are awesome. They're a true straight fit. Now, a lot of times people will be like, yeah, it's a straight fit and it's super baggy. Not these. If you like a good slim fit denim and you've been noticing that the pant style is getting a little bit bigger, so you want the next thing up from slim fit denim right here and you don't have to break the bank to get it. This is probably one of the best pairs of jeans that you can get at this price point and it doesn't feel like cheap stretchy denim that you sometimes see at PacSun or H&M. So this will be where we start for the fit. Now for the footwear, I have a couple Adidas pickups that'll work perfectly. I showed you guys these in the Adidas video I did, but I did not style them really. I don't think I did. And clearly they would work for this outfit where the three stripes are done in that sage green. It's a nice suede on top of this leather. This is the Forum Low CL by the way. So the hoodie honestly matches it perfectly. I could just stop there and that is a clean, essential spring fit. But sometimes I like to take it to the next level and these will do that. Check these guys out. The Adidas Handball Spezial in this faded green. Now this might be a little too matchy matchy. In my opinion, you know, you could probably pull it off but the way I offset things is to throw on a light layer. Uniqlo comes to the rescue with this guy right here. This is the windproof blousin jacket and it's in this sand color. So this is the fit right here. The base is that sage green hoodie. You got the Nautica denim that fits perfectly, that lightweight Uniqlo windbreaker, and then the Adidas Spezial, which is very, on trend right now. These are a great alternative to the Samba. By the way, obviously everyone is rocking the Samba. I find these more comfortable, a little bit more elevated, and that is a solid look. If you wanted to ditch the hoodie and go with a little bit more of an elevated look, or just, you know, rock this as it is. We have another piece from Uniqlo. This is the Milano ribbed crew neck sweater, and this is probably the softest sweater that I've felt in a long time. They're only 50 bucks, and they hold a nice structure. That fits true to size. All right, guys, real quick. The video is already recorded. I am about to go out to dinner. I'm just doing some quick B-roll as my wife gets ready, but I threw this sweater on for the first time, and look at this color. Look at this color. 
it is just illuminating. And I'm not lying when I tell you this, it might be one of the most comfortable things that's ever graced my body. We're talking like the feeling the first time you put on the Ultra Boost, the first time you felt merino wool, the first time you felt some classic Nautica sweatpants, like those type of feelings where you just experience comfort and softness for the first time of something. I've been sleeping on this guy right here. This is something I'm buying multiple colors in, 50 bucks, like crazy. I'll link it for you guys, but wow, I'm just real impressed by this. Next up, Adidas track pants. Now, one thing I could never figure out was which pair of these pants is perfect for me. There are so many different styles, cuts, materials of the Adidas track pants that just have the three stripes going down the side. And I just recently found this cut. These are the Beckenbauer track pants. So here's the deal with these pants. A lot of Adidas track pants are either very slim throughout the leg or they're wide. These have a nice taper, but they're still relaxed in the thigh. And that's why I really like them. They're comfortable and they have that pleat going down the middle. So just an extra added detail, but at the bottom it tapers pretty nicely. So you can see most of your shoes. If you're into rocking Adidas, these are kind of a must. Next up, it is so important to have a rain jacket in the spring. Trust me when I tell you guys, I know. I know you're not like, I'm dying to get a rain jacket. I can't wait to get a rain jacket. Well. If it rains where you're at, which it has to, it has to rain where you're at unless you're living in the middle of the desert and then you're probably not watching many of these spring videos, but I strongly dislike when I have this incredible wardrobe and all of a sudden it rains and then all of those options become obsolete and I'm like, I, I don't have anything to wear. That is the worst, not anymore. You're gonna invest in a rain jacket just like this. This is the 86 mountain jacket from the North Face in wasabi and black. And when I tell you guys I'm excited about this guy, I'm not lying. That is because this is my second North Face mountain jacket, the 86 version. The other has like a rain and lightning storm going on. I've always wanted one that has this classic color blocking on here where the shoulders are done in a black and then the rest of the body is done in a different color. This guy is wasabi, but it also feels a little bit like sage green. Are you guys getting the vibe of this video yet? Are you following what I'm putting down as far as what the color of spring is this year? So I'm pretty sure you guys have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna be wearing by now. Was that 10 things? It had to have been 10 things. I just dropped a bunch of new videos. Make sure you guys go check them out. That's a wrap for me though. I'll catch you next time. Peace.